Hi for everyone. Today we'll continue solving next 10 problems of the book of Ahmed Demir. So let's get started. This is our next geometric problem. Now we shall start. So we are given that AB equals to AC equals to AD. Where is this? AB. So let me put here A, some A. And AC is also A, and AD is also A. Uh -huh. Okay, so from here we know that uh, this angle will be alpha, and this angle will be also alpha. And the, uh, if these angles, um, let me say, side are equal, so this angle will be X plus alpha, the angle ADC. So, from here, we know that this angel will be pi minus 2 times x plus alpha. So, pi minus 2 times x plus alpha. And we know that uh, these, uh, these angels will give us... So, this... Angels, the angle A B uh, A B C, the in the sum of inter angles of the triangle will give us 180 degrees. So we'll know that uh, two alpha plus this one plus 50 degrees, because the angle A B A, uh, B A C is equal to uh, this angle plus uh, 50 degrees. So 50, oops, 50 degrees plus 2 times uh, pi minus 2x minus 2 alpha. And it is equal to 180, so it is pi. And uh, we can cancel these two um, angels and we'll get the uh, pi we can also subtract from the both sides and we can add up 2x to the both sides and we'll get that x will be equal to 50 degrees so here now that x is equal to 25 degrees so the next problem is this uh, which can uh -huh. okay. The, it is saying that uh, B, uh, BDC triangle, BDC, this triangle is equilateral, so uh, so the sides and angles are equal to each other. You know that um, this is the right angle, this. And we have to find out x here. How to find out? Uh, this angle will be 60 degrees, and this is also will be 60 degrees because we we can uh, the angle each angle of uh, equilateral triangle will be 60 degrees. So um, here we know that uh, this angle will be 30 degrees, and we know that these angles uh, these side will be equal to this side. side. So, we now know that uh, if this, uh, these sides are equal, we know that this side will be also x. So, it is obvious that 2x plus 30 degrees will be equal to 180 degrees. 2x have to be here 150 degrees, here x will be 75 degrees, which is the correct answer. So, the next problem, so here, here uh, the sides are equal and this is the vertical angle, and it is saying that ABC is equilateral triangle, again, it cannot, it can, it is in Turkish, Written. So ABC, where is ABC? Ah, here. This triangle is equilateral. So, and these uh, sides are equal. So 100 degrees will be 
and this angle is 60 degrees. Uh -huh. And uh, this side will be also equal to this side, and this side also will be equal. Uh -huh. Why we need this? I'll explain later. So this angle is here 160 and 20 it will be. So we can find out this angle. The angle ABC is equal to 60 degrees because it's the equilateral triangle. So it will be 40 degrees. 60 minus 20 is 40 degrees. So and this side will be equal to the side BC and it is also equal to the side AD. And this angle will be 60 degrees. And we know that uh, this angle is 180 minus 100 degrees minus x. It is uh, 80 degrees minus x. So we can add up here. Um, no, we cannot add up. I'm so sorry. Uh, how we can say it again? Uh, this is 60 degrees. x plus 60. Yeah, how we can find out here. These sides are equal. Ah, so these uh, these angles will be equal because these sides are equal. You can see this. So I'll just highlight this. These sides are equal, so these angles will be also equal. It is obvious that we can find out x here. 40 degrees to be and it will be 40 degrees. This is our answer. Ah, it is correct. So the next question here, AC is equal to AD. Where is AC? Here. You can say that is A and AD is AD is equal to AC. So it is A also and abc is equilateral triangle so it will be a also and this will be also a so uh we have to find out x here and we know that this angle will be 60 degrees and uh, next step is to know that this angle will be 20 degrees because the this triangle is equilateral and the from here we know that uh, B A C angle will be 60 degrees and the sum is giving 60 degrees so uh, this angle from the term we we know that this angle will be the B B E D angle angle B E D will be equal to 20 plus 60 degrees and it is 80 degrees so uh we know that also that this angle is equal to this angle because the sides are equal so here x plus 60 degrees um uh, here we can we can find out the two times here here two times x plus 60 degrees x plus 60 degrees we don't need this one so two times x plus 60 degrees here the angle abd and adb the sum and plus 20 degrees have to give us pi that is 180 degrees and we can write uh, we can solve this one and we can get uh, 2x plus 120 degrees plus 20 degrees have to equal to 180 degrees and 140 here we have to add up 40 degrees in order to get 180 degrees so it is 40 degrees to x and we know that x will be here 20 degrees so it's right so next problem here uh here it's, it's saying that a b c d is square and b e c is 
equilateral triangle, BEC, uh, here. It is 60 degrees, and these sides are equal. And here, we know that this side is the side of the square, so that this side will be equal to this side. So uh, this angle will be also x. The main problem was uh, to know this thing is this and this side have to be uh, equal to this side. If you don't know, you cannot calculate here anything. So this angle will be 60 degrees and this angle will be 30 degrees because this is the square. 90 degrees minus 60 degrees is 30 degrees. Here, 2x plus 30 degrees have to equal to 180 degrees. And here, 2x have to be 150 degrees. x here, 75 degrees. So, next problem. Uh -huh, here. ABCD is square, it is saying this square and again DCF is equilateral triangle. TCF, ah, here, this triangle is equilateral. So it is A, A, A. And this will be also A because it's the square side. And I will have to find out X here and this angle. Mm -hmm. This angle will be 60 degrees, and we also know that uh, this angle will be 60 degrees. And why we need this? Ah, this angle will be x also, and this angle is 90 degrees. And we know that here from the triangle BCF. X plus X, this X is why I put X here because the sides are equal. So X plus X plus here is 90 degrees. 90 degrees plus 60 degrees has to be equal to 180 degrees. This will give us 120, uh, 150 degrees, and these two X have to be. 30 degrees in order to have 180 degrees. So x here is equal to 15 degrees. And this is the correct answer. So the next problem here. Let's find out x here. Uh, let's draw one line here. We know that these two um, sides are equal and we know that if we draw here a line this will be also equal why is it so because uh, if we find out the, these angles they will be equal and they will be each 60 degrees and this will be equilateral triangle so from here we know that uh, the angle ADB will be equal to x minus 60 degrees because the ADC angle is x and if these sides will be equal this angle will be also equal with with the angle ADB so it will be also x minus 60 degrees if this angle will be 60 degrees and the angle ABD will be equal to 100 degrees minus 60 degrees. It is 40 degrees. And if we uh, add up these three angles, we can find out from the sum of interior angles x. So 40 degrees plus 2 times here x minus 60 degrees. We had here. And it will equal to 180 degrees. This will give us 2x minus 120 minus 80 degrees will equal to 180 degrees 
and two x will be equal to here 260 degrees which is here x 130 degrees so i guess i ah, yeah, this is correct answer so next uh, the last but not least problem is this so here these sides are all equal and again if we add up here line we know that this side will be also equal again this angle will be 60 degrees this angle will be also 60 degrees and we also know that uh, that this the, the angle the angle ABC will be equal to 180 minus 20 minus 60 degrees these two angles and this will be 100 degrees and this will be 100 degrees minus 60 degrees so it will be 40 degrees so 40 degrees and uh, we also know that uh, this angle will be equal to this angle so they are equal and 40 180 minus 40 will be 140 so it will be 70 degrees each of them and they are equal so the sum will give us 180 so uh, last step is to know that uh, edges and angles sum will be 180 degrees so x plus 70 plus 60 degrees will be equal to 180 degrees i didn't put here degrees you know that this is degree so here it will be uh, 130 degrees then x will be 50 degrees and this was our last solution thank you for your attention if you like this video and the solutions put the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you have any questions you can leave them in the comments below see you soon in the next videos